Hello guys, this is FreeFreshJD here, and the Ultimate Team Update just came out on PS3 today. It did come out on Xbox yesterday, I believe. I'm not sure why that was. But anyway, here's just a few things about the update and my thoughts on them. First up, we got the security question, which I have to answer upon entering or create, whatever. And this is a good idea, because obviously it means even if someone logs onto your account on console, that they can't just get onto your Ultimate Team account with easy access. They have to actually answer this question, so it will make hacking a lot harder for everyone. But then we've got the um, trade offers, which I think is not a good idea. And a lot of other people agree that you should be able to trade off uh, to other people as well as just friends. Here you can see it just comes up with the um, little message at the bottom rather than taking the trade offer option off altogether. And they say it's to stop hackers, which I believe is a bit stupid maybe. But I see the point because if someone hacks you maybe on the web app and they try and send trade offers to themselves, obviously they're not on your Xbox or your PS3 account so they can't add themselves as a friend. So they do have a little bit of backing behind that reason. Now, other things which I don't like about the update, which I'm going to go through first and then I'll go through the good points. But the squad, the squads now, I've, they fit... They just look horrendous, alright? I, I don't like them at all, these red, orange and green lines. It's like Ultimate Team for Dummies. Whoever couldn't tell the difference between a black, a dark green and a bright green line, their eyesight must be too bad they shouldn't even maybe have played this game. I don't know, but seriously, it looks horrible on hybrid teams and just ruined them. But anyway, I'll probably still make them and etc. The next thing is this squad building wizard, which... This is quite good actually for people who maybe just want to have a team ready off the bat out of the best players they've got in the club. You can change it to just make the best squad you've got and then you can also apply it to make a team by nationality, league, etc. And you can also change it by formation so it'll only put players in that squad in the formation. Now, the next thing that I really, really like is the tournaments. They have a lot more to offer. You can get packs, you can get coins, and you can also get players, I believe. I'm not sure on that one, but if you look here on the new tournament menu, you've got a little highlighted coin at the top of all these because they're all the old tournaments. At the bottom, it just tells you the tournament bonus, but there's like a pack symbol and a player symbol. And I believe you'll win one of them in the new tournaments. Apparently there's some coming out tomorrow. The next thing which I like is the trade feed. How it comes up at the bottom here. It tells you how many auctions you're winning. How many you've been outbid on. And then it also tells you how many players you've got in the trade pile. Which ones are selling and which one have got an offer. And now I coming back to the trade offer thing. I don't see a point of having... The offer is recorded or whatever it is because it's only your friends who can trade offer to you. But it also tells you the number of live auctions. But now one of the favourite things maybe of this update is the team of the week. How you can view it and how you can go over them all and see all the individual attributes without having to go on to the um, online web version. But as you can see here they have failed rather quite a bit in the way that they haven't even got all the team of the weeks. I've just scanned through them all now and you can see that that is clearly not all the team of the week since the game has been released. EA really need to get that sorted out if it's going to even be of any use to anyone. Now another thing which is good is they've um, when you go into a tournament if you have players in the squad which don't match the um, eligibility for the um, tournament they put a red box around the players which you need to remove in order to be able to take part in the tournament. However, it looks ugly, but I suppose if you're just going to get rid of them out of the team anyway, it's not going to make too much of a difference. Another thing they've done with the trading is that they've put the maximum bid from 10 million coins all the way up to 15 million coins. Whoever has that many amount of coins, I don't know, and who would spend them on one single player, don't know, but some people obviously do. There's also a new difficulty on the single player, which is the ultimate difficulty. This combines the toughest difficulty level in the game, Legendary, with the um, chemistry rating of 100. So that there, in their statement, shows that chemistry does actually play a part in how well your team plays, which, if you didn't notice that already before, then I don't know how you didn't manage to. And that is all the um, 
parts of the update which have come out other than they fixed a few bugs and glitches such as the um, disconnect at end of game and stuff like that. Anyway, this has been Free Fresh JD and I'll see you next time.